Hey everyone, and welcome to my devlog where I share my experiences with development and hopefully can help you along the way as well. First, I just wanted to say how grateful I am to all of you for your support on this project. It's been so fun to work on and start bringing the world to life, and even more fun to see what all of you think of the story and the world as the game progresses. Please continue to let us know what you think down in the comments. Because the story is super important to us in the game, for this devlog I wanted to show the dialogue system I've been working on, as well as go a little more in detail on some UI elements to make it easier to interact with the world. One of the most important parts of making a world feel alive is having residents in the world to talk to. I love in games when you get to watch the story or stories unfold, whether they are mini quests or the main storyline. It is super important to have interactive dialogue that can make you feel more a part of the world. I ended up making a dialogue box that floats directly over the NPC's head. It then zooms in on the NPC so you can see the player and the NPC in more detail. I liked the idea of the dialogue box floating above the NPC because then it feels like the UI is never actually leaving the world either. I wanted to keep the retro feel for the button icons and the dialogue boxes, so I opened up Procreate and threw these designs together. I'll definitely be iterating on the UI design as we go, but let me know what you think so far. The other thing I wanted to make sure of is that you can leave the dialogue at any point. I've never loved in games when it locks you into a long dialogue and your only choice of escape is spamming the continue button until the dialogue ends only to accidentally click the talk button and have to do it all over again. In our dialogue system, just like in real life, the player can leave the dialogue at any point. Whether they just started the conversation or decided they don't want to answer a particular question, you can always leave mid-conversation. I also wanted to add the ability to have unique and sometimes complex conversations, but not to create overly complex code to create every single story. We ended up using this free system called Inc. You can install the extension for free from the Unity Asset Store, and you can download the Inky editor from the website. Ink is a great tool for building complex stories. You can do a lot of really cool stuff with it. But currently, I'm keeping it simple and creating some basic branching stories to test with. In my code, I have a dialogue controller and a dialogue manager, which allows me to manage how the story is displayed to the screen. Since I've already created the dialogue controller and manager, all I need to do when creating an NPC is drag and drop the dialogue controller for that NPC, and they will now display my dialogue system when the player interacts with them. This makes it very easy to create new NPCs with dynamic stories. Currently, since I'm just building out the dialogue system, my NPCs only support a default story, which is the story that will play when you first meet that NPC. Eventually, I will add a lot of other attributes to the NPC and allow them to have default questions that populate when you talk to them. For example, this could be used for a merchant that always has a buy and sell option when you first talk to them. The next thing I wanted to work on was an interaction indicator. So I created this floating interaction UI, which appears when a player can interact with something. I used the simple script, which makes the interact UI follow the player around. I wanted to have this smooth feel when it appears, so I have a simple fade in and out animation that plays when opened or when closed. And since the interact UI is actually following the player, when the player comes up to an object that they can interact with, you can see the interact fade in, then the UI smoothly slides into place. I can also adjust the offset value to position the interact UI just where I want it to appear. The interact UI can be used for a bunch of different scenarios. For example, when moving to a new scene, I can have it display enter or exit. I can use it when collecting items and also when interacting with NPCs. This is just the beginning of our dialogue system. And now that I have the basic system down, I'm going to start delving a lot more into questing and inventory, which will work in unison with what I've built so far. Anyways, everyone, if any of you have anything you'd like to see in the next video, please let us know in the comments. For those who enjoyed, please consider liking the video, and if you want to see more devlogs like this one, subscribing with the notification bell on will help you stay up to date. Thanks for joining me for this devlog, and I'll see you next time.